Hey guys, it's your girl Taylor here on MSU's campus. Today we're going to be walking down Grand River a little bit and maybe through campus as well and just kind of seeing what people are wearing on the streets of East Lansing. So let's go get started. Hey guys, we're here on campus with MSU hockey player Michael Merrifield. So Mike, where are you coming from today? Uh, I'm just coming from class. Just coming from class. All right, and what are you wearing to class today? Is this like a normal outfit for you to wear to class? Yeah, you know, just uh, some nice jeans, a v-neck, yeah. and a, a small track jacket just because it's a little windy out today. Yeah, definitely. What it kind of inspires your style? Like, where do you shop? I um, shop usually like at Nordstrom's and things like that just because okay. they have comfortable clothes and yeah. it's uh, close to my house and easy to get to. Yeah, definitely. Do you shop at Urban or any of the on-campus shops? Um, yeah, I've been to Urban sometimes. I usually go to uh, okay. down to Meridian Mall quite a bit yeah. just to check what's going out there. Yeah, so definitely. And then being an athlete and seeing kids on campus just kind of wearing sweats and stuff like that, do you ever wear sweats to class or do you kind of keep it classy, keep it nice? Um, I try and keep it classy, okay. you know, represent the program, right? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, getting out of bed and getting dressed is important. Uh, right. part, uh, important way to start your day, so. Thanks, Mike. No, no problem. <laughs> Hey guys, we're here with Scott in Urban Outfitters. So Scott, what are you wearing today? Um, today I am wearing a beanie, an old band tee, a uh, basic hoodie with my jacket, Great. and some black skinny jeans. Cool, so is this kind of a style that you're comfortable wearing day in and day out? Is this your kind of fashion that you go with? Yeah, it stems from just listening to a lot of like punk and indie bands and right. kind of that being my interest. So just looking at that scene and just right, seeing what sure. they're kind of wearing. Yeah. Lots of black. Lots uh, of black, so that's your color of choice is black? If you can call it a color, okay. yeah. Would you kind of be comfortable wearing, dressing it down and doing sweats or for say going on a date or something like that, would you dress it up? I don't really dress down a whole lot. Okay. This is kind of, I guess, just basic. Um, yeah, just never you? Really, yeah, just me. Dressing up, you know, with black jeans, you can kind of, you can kind of dress those up a little easier, right. get like a collared shirt or something. Yeah, on, definitely. Other than that, you know, it's kind of, my fashion is low. Okay, you low know, key. just low key. Yeah, for sure. Wear what I'm comfortable in. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm here with Jared, a Michigan State University student. The t-shirt, what's the t-shirt is actually um, uh, a clothing line developed by my brother and Very myself. Cool. My brother is a graphic designer in oh, Detroit. Wow. That's he nuts. designs it all and we've uh, we're like nine months young. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, so this is just kind of an experimental thing that right. we're working with dyeing. Is this t-shirt representing your fashion? Or are you kind of wearing it more for advertising or is this solely like you? I'll tell you, every day that goes by that I don't wear a shirt that is my clothing company, yeah. something happens where I wish I was wearing that shirt. Right. So <laughs> advertising, some advertising, it's, yeah, it definitely. feels good. And then for the pants, just kind of like a pair of khaki pants, is that something that you wear on a regular basis to class? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, a, I'm into khakis. Okay. Jeans are totally cool, but I like different color pants as right. well. Right, okay. Uh, so my, what color, what types of pants do you have? Like what different colors do you have? Uh, I've been working into the more earthy tones, like a okay. little browner, grayer, and yeah. green. Okay. You know, as opposed to just like, hey, blue jeans. And then as far as accessories, like I noticed your necklace there and oh. you have your watch hanging and your <laughs> Beats over here. Um, just talk, maybe talk about that. I always like to have my music on my backpack. Okay, so you need it. Do you want to show your beats there? Because oh, got them at Urban nice. at a discount last okay. year. Totally great. Least these so. are um, these are Marley brand headphones. What are these so like I usually keep mine here just okay. in case I need some quick listening yeah. going on. And the watch is broken. But it's just hanging because sentimental. What? Let's see what else. Your backpack bags for guys are kind of being more popular lately. Is that something that you would ever rock? If I had the loot to drop on like a dope, cool, fresh looking backpack, yeah. I'd probably wear it with nothing in it. Is, is it called Detroit Riot? Is that? Oh no, so the, the brand yeah, is called what's... Funk Clothing. Okay, Funk Clothing, right here. It's a, it's an acronym, it stands for F-U-N-K, it's a freedom you now know. Oh. Like where we market our product, there's like, it's really in with the music, right. really in with Definitely. like youth culture scene and heavily focused on Detroit. It's just a more urban feel. A lot more urban feel. Cool, and then where can we find these clothes? You can find these clothes in East Lansing. Oh, great. At Double Up. Okay. Or you can find it online. Okay. At freedomyounownow.com. Thanks so much, Jared, for speaking with us today. And Thank you. best of luck with this clothing line. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, guys. So we just saw three great examples of what's trending here on campus. But you know, we want to know your style. So please check us out on Facebook to give your fashion advice. Being a guy isn't easy, and we're here to help. And we'll be right back with more Help the Other Guys.